Hello everyone, my name is Ben Malone with Malone's Marine. And we're here today out on Kentucky Lake. We're going to be giving some good walkthrough videos of the Sylvan L3 DLZ bar boat. Uh, this boat is fully equipped, SPX performance chassis underneath it. Every option that we here at Malone's Marine to order with this boat, we're going to go through in good detail today to give you a good walkthrough of this whole boat from bow to stern all the way, each side port, starboard, everything. Uh, this boat today we're actually in is powered by a Mercury 300 horsepower V8 four-stroke engine. So uh, we're going to start out with some walkthrough of the actual boat, the interior layout, the components, what makes up the storage, your options added, the ones that come standard and the ones that don't come standard that we add to that boat here at Malone's Marine. Uh, and then also we're going to go out on the water itself uh, out here on Kentucky Lake and actually show you this boat in action and show you just what that XPX performance package truly does and gives you the ride and comfortability of a tri-tune. Um, this boat will go into great detail today about how it just really performs well for a family mentality. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to start here at the bow of this boat. So the L3 DLZ bar again. So you can see on our models, what we do is we swap out this front gate. Normally there's an aluminum full fence panel there. I like to upgrade to a stainless see-through gate bow gate. So it does a couple of things. For one, functionality reasons, it allows that airflow to flow right down the center of that boat. You wouldn't think it would mean a whole lot. When you're out there on a hot day and that sun is all beating down on you, and that wind is allowed to go through that gate, it lets a lot of airflow around your feet and cools off the interior of this boat. Then of course, actual cosmetically wise, the actual stainless up front where it mirror images with, we come down here to a stainless steel rub rail instead of normally where you would see a rubber insert. I like to upgrade to a stainless insert, but one that just cosmetically again ties in with all the stainless work of the boat. And then also functionality, banging up against docks, that stainless is not gonna beat and bang and tear off like a rubber, rubber rail would. Also on this bow, you can see, we change over to a stainless steel flip up cleat. So essentially, what that cleat does, it flips up and you need to tie off to the dock, and then also it flips down. So when you're dropping that person off to head off to the get the boat ramp, you're out there getting a truck and trailer, you don't have to worry about tripping over that cleat being sticking up. When it's fall flat down, there is no concept about tripping over that. So you can also see the upgrade here. We change out to a blackout trim package. It really ties in well with the trim here, and then also on the, the teak, hard, teak floor, which you'll see once we get into the interior of this boat. Uh, hinges up, locks into place. There is no bottom hinge on the actual floor itself to sit that door up on to really get bailed out. It happens all the time we see it of when a normal door has a full piano style hinge, it eventually gets worn. This stainless will not do that. So as we move into the bow of this boat, you see on the bows two chase lounges, port and starboard sides. So Sylvan does a very wonderful job of their storage compartments up front. For one, recess cup holders on either side. It allows when you sit down here, you can actually still have your drinks here tucked behind you. You're not trying to set them down on your upholstery. You're not having to hold them. You're really not having to do anything. Tuck them right behind you. They're there. They're good. Also, you can see the JL speakers here. You got two bow speakers here on the front. Now storage compartments on the bow, we come in both sides, starboard and port, hinge up. So your bow storage here, water channel comes in, the second compartment pulls up, it's a double hinge, pulls out. There is no strap like you see on other models where there's a strap just sewn into here that eventually sun fades it, gets weak, and you tear that strap off. Sylvan does a wonderful job of using a double hinge concept here to pick that cushion up to allow access to your storage compartments underneath. So you see this channel here, this water, as you get out of that water and you're wet coming out of the lake, you sit down, that water is going to run right up top of those seats, hit this channel here, and you can kind of see there's outlets there. So it's going to move that water quickly out of the boat and not into your compartments to get all of your components wet inside the storage. So you can see down the run of this boat, so we upgrade this floor to a teak weave flooring. You can see the parallel stripes here. It's a sea weave floor, so very, very low maintenance on this flooring. No carpet anywhere in this boat. Simply sweep it out, pressure wash, very, very easy. Kids, dogs, anything like that, it's not gonna be an issue on this boat. As we move into the middle of this boat here in the interior wise, Sylvan's console here. 
Huge storage locker underneath. You can see here, got a trash can, ton of room underneath here, all dry goods, day bags, all those types of things. Plenty of storage in this boat. All access to your fuse panels. We upgrade this boat to have an in-floor storage. So this storage locker here, a couple of things. Uh, for one, you can see the covers in here right now stored, but this full locker underneath here, it's great for skis, pool noodles, wakeboards, anything of that stuff, life jackets. Uh, I recommend anything that you have wet coming out of there, saddles, whatever you've got, throw in there. There's a pump inside of there, a village pump. So when all that wet stuff drains to the bottom, kick that pump on, pumps the water right out of the boat, no mold, mildew, any of those types of things in here. So as we move to the console, for one, we upgrade the windshield hardware, as you see here, with more of a true powder coated seal mentality instead of the spring loaded that just get weak over time and break. It's a good solid windshield. You're not gonna break it. You can hit it. It's very, very sturdy. And then as we come to the actual console, we like to raise the helm up. It's a helm riser, essentially. What that does, it does a couple of things. For one, it allows, as I'm sitting here in this boat, and I'm sitting here in the driver's seat, where normally, if I am tucked way down, I'm having to stand up and look over the top of whoever's with me to be able to see to get on the dock, to load it on the boat trailer, any of those types of things. That raised helm allows me to sit here comfortably. I can see right over the top of whoever's sitting in the front of that starboard chase lounge. No issues at all being able to easily see over that. Sea deck flooring here, so barefoot wise, you're not worried about wet feet, getting slick, sliding around. Very, very grip, easy to do. Uh, then here at the helm, a couple of things. All of my components are right here at my fingertips. I don't have to go look for anything. I don't have to try to hunt for anything. Steering wheel itself, we like to upgrade to a tilt wheel. So as I get in this helm, I can take my seat, I can slide forward, I can take the steering wheel, tilt it all the way down. So as I'm riding, cruising, I can sit here, I can drive with my knees, whatever I want to do to be comfortable out there on the lake with family. It's not an issue at all when I get out, pull that steering wheel up, slide my knees out, I'm out. No issues at all. Uh, here at the console, we upgrade to a 7 inch Simrad Go 7 unit. So what this unit's got on it, preloaded, are all of your map data for essentially the lower 48. So here on Kentucky Lake, this screen is going to show me every bit of the river channel buoys, the creek channels, main river, all of my pockets. Uh, it'll even go so far as giving me an aerial view of marinas throughout this body of water. Uh, and once we get out on the water, we'll go into that a little bit more once we get running and kind of show you the components of that Simrad. But it all has GPS, sonar, it's going to give you water temp, water depth, everything that you're going to need possibly out there on that water. See here, dual purpose gauges, RPMs on top, fuel gauge on the interior, same on the left, GPS speed, and then my voltmeter for my battery, engine trim. Then here are my components. So I've got a master power switch that controls everything else in line with this switch. So our navigation lighting, our courtesy lights, it's hard to tell out here in the sunshine, but we have blue LED interior lights. We have actual interior lights that consider a courtesy light and then underwater lights. So this boat actually has a full length of blue LEDs that run perimeter above the tunes on the outsides. My docking lights are incorporated into the fence panels on the port and starboard side to give me a good view of that docks I'm coming in, that dusky dark, and we're done for the day. Uh, billet pump, like I was saying, so that in-floor storage that we discussed earlier, that pump right there, when all I get done at the end of the day, and I put my life jackets in there, I put my pool noodles in there that we've been floating in, they're wet. That water drains through that grate that's built into that. We turn this bilge pump on, it's gonna pump that water out for me so I don't have to worry about all that stuff getting mold and mildew. Then we get over into the radio. So this boat has a JL Audio, it's a Media Master 50. Uh, so essentially Bluetooth, FM, anything right there you need. There's also another controller at the back, at the stern, that we'll go over once we get back to the stern of this boat. Um, great sound quality with JL, great quality. We have zero issues out of them. Then we have a cell phone holder here. You can see mine's just sitting in there now. Got a 12 volt power source here. 
and also a USB dual port here to the console as well. So essentially I can plug that phone up, throw it in the holder here, Bluetooth it to my JL, play Pandora, Spotify, whatever I want to listen to out there on the water, and that phone's charging the whole time. I don't have to worry about my phone going dead while I'm out there on the water all day. Okay, so now we're going to go over the great component of this power bimini top. Like I was saying, the days of those manual bimini tops fighting all that, that's over with, trying to deal with spring-loaded clips and bolts and all that's over with. Sylvan does a beautiful job of incorporating a power bimini switch here at the dash. So essentially, with that bimini in the stowed position, down with that boot on, all I've got to do is get up from my seat, go back here, undo the clip on the bimini, Take this boot off. Come back to the dash here. Like I was saying, those days of really having to manually pull that bimini up, fight it in the wind and the sun, Sylvan has done away with all that. Simply by pushing a button here, I can raise this bimini top completely from the stowed position with trailering legs all the way to fully extended. So in all of about two minutes, I went from having to stand in the sun trying to get everything loaded and packed and ready to now touch of a button. I'm standing here in the shade with the power top bimini. These support legs help it from those days where big cross winds keeps this bimini nice, tight, and secure. So here, one great component with this boat, as you can see, this DLZ bar has the bar top here in the back, but also it allows you to have this cruise area in the middle. This table is removable. Uh, it's not a cheap, flimsy table. It's sturdy enough. You can sit there, eat lunch, have your drinks on it, anything game-wise, play cards. Uh, then also being able to actually incorporate the full seating in here in the shade is great. Uh, like I said again, just as you saw on the Starboard Chase Lounge up front, double hinge, storage underneath, all these components pull up for storage all here. It's a great storage in this boat, plenty of plenty of room. Like I said, table is removable. If you don't want it here, you can take it out. It actually stows underneath that console, that large console that we looked at earlier. This whole table and leg assembly will fit underneath there to not tie up all your other storage for all of your items you're going to bring with you on the lake. So as we move back to really what the kind of meat and potatoes of this boat is, is that bar boat mentality. Uh, so you can see here, nice storage area, tabletop, somewhere to fix a sandwich, somewhere you can get any items here storage underneath here as well. You have another JL speaker. And then we get into this component of the DLZ bar of really what makes this boat so special is that the functionality and versatility of this whole area in the back. So essentially this swing back here as you saw on the cruise easily swings forward. You have a bar top here. You have two options. You can either stand up here. All the kids, family, friends are out on the water floating. You can stand up with a mentality like you're standing at a bar top. Great quality. It's not a cheap, plastic, flimsy thing at all. Uh, it's plenty sturdy. I can stand on it, lean against it, no issues. Easily walk away around navigate-wise. Ton of room back here. You can have friends on both sides. Uh, it's just a great component that you do not have to just lounge on upholstery. Those hot days where it's 95 and, and 100 like we're here having here now in July, we can actually just be able to stand up, let the wind air flow around us. We're not just piled on seats, sweating. You can just really have a great mentality. While everyone is playing out back here, you can stand up. You can still sit here. You can still have folks in the middle. You can still have people standing up. So many options here. And then what makes this component really, really functional, uh, which also too, the bar stools here, these pick up and stow into these spots here so you can actually have two stools on either side of this. So if you want to sit down, you can have that option as well. Um, well. The thing we love the most about this is the functionality of being able to take this bar top 
and go from a bar top mentality of standing to simply push of a button, lay this whole area flat down here and be able to actually lay completely flat on this boat. So not only do you have the option of standing up that bar top, sitting on the bar stools, you can also kick that headrest back, flip the seats down, the bar top, and have a full layout in the back. So if you want to get somewhere and just lounge, there it is. If you want to get somewhere, stand up, hang out, there it is. So that's the beautiful part about this boat, is being able to have multiple functions with this same boat back and forth. There again, this can still swing back, does not take up any of your seating in the cruise area, still does not take any of your layout area in the actual stern of the boat. That's the beautiful part of this, it's so functional of being able to get the same boat, but with different layouts. So the days of having one single set of furniture, and that's it, those are gone. Uh, being able to do this is just very, very functional. When you come out of the back of this boat, it's great. You have dual gates here on both sides, port and starboard, your main gate here. Ladder out the back. You can see plenty of room to walk around back and forth. So Sylvan does a wonderful job. Uh, I like to incorporate a deluxe stainless steel tow bar in the back. This boat normally will come standard with a ski pylon, just a single pole shoved down here. Me personally, I think these boats look better and perform better towing wise with this deluxe tow bar on here. For one, cosmetically wise, it incorporates all of your stainless steel railing here, incorporates it there, goes to your ladder, the wide five step ladder you can see is extra wide there, an extra step at that bottom allows for easy access to get on and off this boat and not have to take that first step so high up. Um, there again, you can see the flip up cleat in action here as we flipped it up, tied off to our dock. This plate here is an access hole. Uh, once again, I like a stainless plate to one just to incorporate that same look of all the stainless back here. Instead of where normally you'd see a black or plastic cover plate, we like to use stainless there. And then one thing too, if you have children, uh, this whole boat is really geared at kids as far as being able to have a full fenced in area to where you don't have to worry about someone essentially falling out. Now, I mean, there's going to be the chances of someone climbing over it, of course, but in general, with both gates closed, there is no really concern of anyone getting in and out. Toddlers, really infants, anything like that crawling around, very keeps them all in. They get up here, play, hang out. I've got two little ones myself. This layout works phenomenal. We can lay them out here, let them take that two o'clock nap when they're a little tired and hungry. We can still be in the water floating, me and my wife and other friends and families, and our kids can be right here eating their snack, taking their nap, but we're still able to visibly see them because of the railing here, instead of a normal fence panel, this railing allows us the visibility and the line of sight to them to see them and make sure they're still okay as we're sitting out in the water hanging out. Um, there again, back here at the back, 300 horsepower Mercury, more than enough power for this boat, as you'll see once we get out on the water and start doing some running. This boat is very, very quick, uh, and fuel mileage is great. You get this boat loaded down with folks, it is just a phenomenal performance mentality. Great on fuel mileage because you're not having to really run that engine at a high RPMs. We do not like to underpower anything here in Um That is just one thing I've, I've never done. Here on Kentucky Lake, it's such a big body of water that if you want to go places, you can. There's plenty of water to run to. So we really like to go bigger horsepower. No one ever complains about it because you can get a better performance. There's nothing worse than bringing all your friends and family out and having a smaller horsepower engine and not being able to do what you want to do. Um, you know, of course, we could hit lower price points and things of that nature, but at the end of the day, you're buying an item to enjoy yourself. And to do that, you need the right kind of horsepower matched up with this type of boat. So that's what we do here at Malone's. is one of our big things is really performance on all these tri -tanks. Um That's the basis of this boat. Uh, as you can see, the extended deck off the back, plenty of room. Getting out here for water sports tons of room. You can see I'm back here. This boat's got a lot of room. Jump off, hang out, come in and out, jump off, whatever you want to do. Tons and tons of room. Um, and like I said, once we get out on the water, we we'll really go over what that SPX performance chassis is going to do out on Kentucky Lake. That's the great inside of this boat. Um, up next, we'll go out on the water and actually give you some good shots of this boat in action.
right, so right here now on the water, uh, really kind of show you what that XPX performance chassis is. Uh, so as this boat gets to going, as we get up into full throttle mentality, this boat has lifting strakes. So essentially that round tube on the bottom has strakes welded onto the bottom edge of the radius of that tube itself. So when that boat starts to lift due to the throttle increasing, that boat itself just essentially rests those strakes on that water level to allow this boat to really rise up together and stay smooth as possible and level, uh, which is key when you have all your family out here on the boat. You don't want this boat to have a high pitch to it because essentially everything starts to fall back. Strakes on the SPX chassis that the Sylvan comes with it really allows this boat to handle well. Turning wise too, it keeps that boat up on the water level. There is zero resistance wise trying to dig that nose in to make a turn like you would say on a fiberglass bow rider where it wants to nose hook. These tri-tunes really are designed to stay nice and flat. Um, then also paired with that mercury power steering pump, allowing it to be able to work over the top of you and not having to turn. So essentially as I get going here, you know, turning wise, there's zero issues turning so back and forth where normally someone's having to really grip that steering wheel me I'm just sitting here one finger back and forth zero issues port or starboard turning wise even at speeds it makes when you're pulling the tube or anything of that nature in tight areas docking trying to load it on the trailer that power steering allowing you to be able to not have to create that pressure with your actual muscle itself of turning that wheel that pump underneath this dash allowing for that pressure to be needed to turn that engine with ease. There's zero problems ever with having that issue of that old school mentality of having to really fight that steering wheel to turn. Those days are gone with the Sylvan L3 DLZ bar. Um, so as we're fixing to get into it here, we'll do some really on the water shots performance. You'll see this boat. As we get some outside shots, we do powder coat the tubes of this boat. So the aluminum look of the tunes are gone on this. It has a black powder coated look on the outside. It really does a couple things. For one, cosmetically, it just looks beautiful tying in with that blackout trim package. And then actually functionality wise, again, being able to clean those water lines and all that off, aluminum itself is a very porous metal. So essentially over time, those pores open up, causes those water stains, grime. That powder coat allows for easy cleanup. Uh, makes your boat stay fresh and clean and new looking for years to come if you really take care of it. Um, so now we'll get into the actual true on the water. We'll increase the throttle and really show you what this L3 DLZ bar boat's all about. 